Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren and today I have a brand new grocery haul for you guys. It feels so weird picking up my vlog camera. This is the first time I have filmed in three weeks. I am freshly postpartum from having our second baby. If you guys missed our labor and delivery vlog and I'm also sharing a bit about our birthday. Oh, our chubby cheeks are out. This is Nora. She is having a little nap here in the baby wrap. Lila is finally in bed, so I can finally get something filmed for the day. Being freshly postpartum and a mom to now two little girls has definitely changed things up around here. We're all still finding our new normal and our schedules. I mean, with a newborn, there really isn't a schedule. She eats when she needs to eat and she sleeps when she wants to sleep. But that means I'm slowly trying to figure out how to get content up for you guys. If you're new to my channel, I'm Lauren and I share grocery hauls, recipes, my WW healthy lifestyle journey. For the last two years, I was on a health journey. I lost 80 pounds using the WW plan before getting pregnant with our sweet little Nora bird. I used the WW plan to kind of keep me on a healthy-ish track during my pregnancy. And I'll be sharing more about my postpartum, getting back to my health journey in the next couple weeks. I'm not rushing things too much. I'm only three weeks out. Nora is just three weeks old today. So our focus over the last three weeks has been just recovery, getting to know a little Nora here and making sure she's on a good healthy track, working through breastfeeding and getting some sleep or trying to. But today I was officially alone with both girls all by myself for a full day. My parents were here helping out for a few weeks before Nora got here as well as a week after. Last week, Josh was kind of working from home, taking time off, doing like some split stuff, but he was here helping. So this week I am officially on my own with the girls. Josh has some really late work hours. Unfortunately, he's going right back into the last big busy part of his season at his job. And then he has his more relaxed summer hours coming up in a couple weeks. So we just have to make it through this last hurdle. And with all the change, it might be a little rough, but I managed to get out of the house today. Everyone was clean, everyone was clothed. We did an errand, so that was a great successful day. We went grocery shopping. And now my plan was to do a grocery order pickup from Walmart, but they were out of a bunch of stuff I wanted. And I didn't wanna to have to stop a bunch of different places. So I braved going into the actual store with both girls and we got it done. It took a lot longer than it normally does. My stuff has been sitting out. I popped my freezer and fridge things in for a few minutes so I could like get the nighttime routine done with Lila. She's in bed now, so sorry for the lighting. Being only three weeks postpartum. Oh. She's moving. Being only three weeks postpartum and after having a C-section, I'm limited to the amount of weight I can carry at a time. So I'm not able to bring and set up all of my like ring lights and studio lighting. So I'm sorry for the lighting guys. I was hoping to get this done during daylight and who do I think I am? That just didn't happen. So I pulled everything back out. I'm gonna share with you guys my first time grocery shopping, my grocery haul. For the first time postpartum, I was very blessed and lucky to have my parents here helping and they did a lot of the grocery shopping, a lot of the cooking. I did have some freezer prep that I did. I shared a video on that and I'll link it in the iCard above, but that's been a big help. But today it was like, we are bare bones. We have like nothing in our fridge or pantry. So it was time to hit the store. So I'm gonna go ahead, share with you guys the haul I picked up today at mostly Aldi. I did pop into Publix for just a couple things that they were out of at Aldi and I'll share that too. And then I got a whole bunch of fruit and veggies I need to prep so they're easy grab and go for the week. And I'm gonna take advantage of some of this quiet time with my older daughter asleep and Nora pretty much out for the next uh, probably, hopefully, I usually get her a good hour and a half nap when I wear her in a baby carrier like this. She's super cozy. So hopefully, I'm going to also get a crock pot oatmeal ready to go. Um, it's going to cook overnight, and I'll have it ready to eat in the morning. So let's dive into this big old haul. Please ignore my hot mess express. I got bottles and pump parts and stuff for sterilizing pump parts and bottles. But, you know, it might be a mess, but we still have this cute little butter bean. Coming along for the ride. Hopefully she stays asleep and I can share this all with you. All right guys, we needed to restock some fruit. I was so bummed we've missed Georgia's strawberry season. We normally take Lila's strawberry picking every year for the last few and the strawberries are so good. But I will say um, these are still in season. They smell great, they look great. So I got two pounds of strawberries to prep for the week. I also have a large bag of seedless red grapes. 
a big old bunch of bananas. We will eat these as well as um, as they start to turn, we will freeze them. Lila and I have both really been into smoothies lately because it's easy to pack a bunch of healthy stuff in there and they still taste great. Case in point, some spinach. Leafy greens are great for your supply when you're breastfeeding and also great to hide these in smoothies and get my four-year-old some extra greens and vitamins as well. Back to fruit, I grabbed a mango. I don't know why, just one mango, sounded good. Maybe I'll pop it in a smoothie or I'll make some mango toast. I've shared that before as one of my fancy toast favorite recipes. I'll link that down below in the description for you guys. And then Lila really loves the mandarin oranges. These are just like cuties, but they're the ones from Aldi. They're easy for her to peel, and she loves having these with like lunch sometimes. A couple other breastfeeding staples I picked up are some more rolled oats. I've been through like two containers of these already between prepping some protein bites and having made some baked oats earlier last week as well. Um, I also picked up some of this milled flax seed. I'm gonna try and pop some of that into my crock pot oatmeal recipe. These are supposed to be really good for your supply as well. I am definitely not someone who has an oversupply by any means when it comes to my breastfeeding journey. I, with Lila, really struggled to kick that one off and I just wasn't able to breastfeed her basically at all between her not wanting to latch and my supply being super low. Nora has been a little bit better. She has latched fairly well. I've been working with a lactation consultant. I had a really delayed supply coming in because I had a C-section and it was fairly low to start off with, but we're on the upswing. But that being said, I do any anything I can to help myself supply more. So things like oats and flaxseed, and I have a couple drinks I'm gonna share with you guys too, just trying to keep my hydration up right now. So those are a big staple and reason why I needed to get out to the grocery store because I was out of some of those things as well. We grabbed some more of our favorite bread. This is just like the Sara Lee Artisano bread. It's just the Aldi version, the Lee Oven artisanal bread. I did grab a couple kinds of salsa, both some cilantro lime mild salsa, and then this salsa verde. We love having chips and salsa on hand. I did grab a bag of chips too. I'll share with you guys in a minute. Um, but the salsa verde, Josh, when my parents were here on our smoker, cooked up a pork butt and we have a bunch of it left in our freezer that we have prepped. So my thought is one of our dinner meals this week, I'm going to get our leftover shredded pork, pop it in the crock pot with this jar of salsa. And then it'll just be like a pork chili verde. I've shared a recipe similar like that homemade, but this is just going to be an easy version using a jar of salsa verde, literally shredded pork, salsa verde, and then heat it through maybe a little chicken stock to thin it out. So it's kind of like a stew soup consistency. We'll top it with some sour cream or plain nonfat Greek yogurt and cheese. And we will call it a night for dinner with that. We also picked up some baby carrots to have for munching on. I still have a bunch of hummus at home, um, a bag of Brussels sprouts. Again, I think I'm just gonna make a really easy sheet pan meal one night this week. I'll toss down some Brussels sprouts, some cut up potatoes, and some chicken that I have in the freezer. I'll just like take it out and thaw it and pop that all on a sheet pan together. We are trying to stick easy, but also trying to get back to eating a little cleaner and healthier. That's the goal with all the greens here. We also have a couple bags of these frozen broccoli florets. These are just an easy side. I don't have a specific plan. We grabbed some banana pepper rings as well as a can of black beans. The banana pepper rings I grabbed for sandwiches and wraps. They had such a great flavor and little zing to your meal. I used to use these on WW all the time because they are zero points, but pack a ton of flavor. I grabbed a can of black beans. Lila is a bean queen, we joke with her. She would eat a cheesy roll of her quesadilla with black beans on the side for every meal if we let her. And the beans are a great source of protein for her. She's like kind of fussy about the texture of meat. So black beans are a staple in our pantry. Grab some plain non-fat Greek yogurt. We use this in place of sour cream or we'll mix it with honey and fruit for actual yogurt in the morning. These are the drinks I was telling you guys about. Um, some coconut water plus some body armor. I have found this tropical punch flavor is my favorite. This flavor of body armor I actually found at Publix. Um, I did pick up one other eight pack. One is missing, I've already drank it. Um, of the mango flavor from Aldi. That one's still in the garage and to be honest, I just forgot to bring it in. So I have another pack in the garage and I have two other bottles of coconut water in the fridge. I basically go through a third of one of those liters of coconut water plus half of a body armor and I mix those into a little hydration drink 
and I try to have that about two times a day or I'll sometimes have one of those a day as well as a um, zero sugar Gatorade. I'll switch that out. So I try to have two hydration drinks a day while I'm trying to keep up my breast milk supply as well as drink a ton of water. I just like am constantly refilling, that's my tumbler, um, my water bottle. So hydration is key. Lila and I decided we're gonna do some DIY at home pizza this week. So I picked up this pizza crust um, from Aldi. We thought we'd give that a try doing it ourselves. We do like making our own two ingredient dough, which we definitely could do. It's just equal parts non-fat plain Greek yogurt with self-rising flour. Um, and that makes a great pizza crust. We love to make little pizza bombs in our air fryer with that. But this seemed easy and uh, we're giving it a try. We also needed to restock our maple syrup. I did batch make a ton of protein pancakes in our freezer. I did that in the meal prep video that I shared, um, but we were out of maple syrup and Lila likes to combine both peanut butter and maple syrup on hers. I also use that as a sweetener when I bake sometimes. So I grabbed some of that. I also grabbed this classic Caesar dressing. This is not light dressing, it's just a regular Caesar. Um, they do sometimes have light ranch at Aldi, but they did not have a light version of Caesar at all. But along with that and some of these spinach herb wraps, I have a ton of romaine lettuce. I have chicken. I picked up some Parmesan cheese. I'm going to make some chicken Caesar wraps for lunch this week. I also grabbed some pepperoni. Normally I grab the turkey kind, but they were out at Aldi. Josh likes this for snacking on, and I also had a few things, including the banana pepper rings, some leftover veggies in the fridge that I might throw together a little like anti-pasta salad. Um, I'll put a link to that recipe in the description box below. I've made it before and it's really good. I grabbed some yellow rice just to have on hand for an easy quick side. Maybe if we do some like tacos or rice bowls this week. Along with that thought, we were almost out of our flour tortillas. So I grab these if we do tacos. If not, I will definitely make more breakfast burritos. I shared those in the freezer meal prep and we went through them so quickly because they were so, so good. They were wonderful to have on hand those first couple weeks home with Nora because with one hand, I could reach in, grab one or two out of the freezer, pop them in our air fryer, cook them, and eat them one-handed while I was still maneuvering, figuring out how to hold Nora all the time and feed myself and my other kiddo. So it was a great one-handed meal and super easy and so, so delicious. And then also I picked up these mini nans. Again, we have hummus to do little hummus plates. Platters. Lila loves doing little snacky hummus platters for lunch and she is officially on summer break guys so preschool is done for the year here in Georgia she will go back in August and she's home all the time so we're struggling and finding our way all together but these are a super fast lunch to throw together for her and she loves it so we just pop some of these mini nans in the toaster to warm them through I tear them up into smaller pieces she eats it with hummus I'll put some carrots or other maybe bell peppers on the side she's hit and miss about bell peppers, but she'll definitely eat the carrots and then some fruit or cheese, some sort of a protein um, along with the hummus. So yeah, she loves doing that kind of a little snacky plate for lunch. And then on my snacky plates, I love these Tim's Turkey Sausage Snack Sticks. They're a great little easy protein, again, easy to eat. Grabbing some easy one-handed snacks were definitely a priority for me this grocery trip. I think that's one thing that I need to be better about in my postpartum healing is eating more. I get so distracted with, you know, I go from feeding Nora to needing to feed Lila a meal to needing to clean bottles and breast pump parts for the next time I need to use them. Keeping up with the house stuff that I'm normally doing anyway, and especially like with today and the coming weeks, Josh is not home a lot, so I need to figure out a way to multitask. I know I'm not putting too much pressure on myself, and I need to try better just to relax and enjoy the time with little Nora being a newborn, but having some easy snacks on hand I think will help keep me fed as I have time between meals. Like, speaking of which, it's almost 9 o'clock when I'm finally getting around to filming this video, and I haven't eaten dinner yet. So hopefully I will do that as soon as I'm done filming for you guys. So speaking of snacks, we have some more veggie straws. Lila loves these and I actually really like these too. If you do follow WW, they are a super great low point snack. You get a ton of them for the points and they really help you with that like crunchy salty craving. I also have some yellow corn tortilla chips to do with all of our salsas. 
We have some fruit and grain cereal bars. These are mostly for Lila. She liked to bring these to preschool, um, but they're also really great for the summertime because they're easy just to like throw one in my diaper bag. So I have a snack on hand for her no matter where we end up for the day, if we're on the run or going to do fun things. Um, Lila picked out at the store. Whenever she comes with me to Aldi, I always tell her she can pick out two snacks um, for the week to kind of make sure we have enough snacks in rotation and she's getting stuff that she likes too. So she picked out those blueberry fruit and grain bars as well as these Cheez-Its. And then last thing from Aldi are these white baking morsels. And I grabbed these because I was going through my pantry seeing what I all had. And I have a package of um, macadamia nuts in there from a while back when I was making some trail mixes. So I think I'm gonna make some white chocolate macadamia bars of some sort, hopefully throw in some flaxseed and other good things in there along with them to healthy them up a bit. But those sounded like a great little treat. So I think Lila and I might bake those later this week. She loves baking with me, so that's a great activity we can do. Maybe if Nora's napping, I'm trying to make sure I still get special activity time in with her every day as well. And then real quick, I did run into Publix as well. Aldi was out of cream cheese, like totally out. No plain regular, no Neufchatel or however you say it, no third less fat. So we ran over to Publix, it was across the street. I grabbed two packages of third less fat cream cheese and then I did pick up some deli meat and cheese I have some baby Swiss as well as some boar's head maple honey turkey. I love the boar's head deli meats and cheeses so I will make a special trip to Publix just for that since they don't have them at Aldi. And if you guys were following along at my pregnancy vlogs as I was coming up to having Miss Nora, I was craving sandwiches. So I'm so happy to be able to have sandwiches again back in the rotation. So again, we're making those um, chicken Caesar wraps for lunches. I have stuff for sandwiches for lunches. I have like two meal ideas for dinner because I don't want to overstress it. If I just don't get around to cooking this week, I didn't want to have too much stuff on hand that I was going to be worried about going bad. So I have a couple dinners in mind and we're just going to see what I can do. I think I kept it pretty simple. So anyway, I'm gonna get the stuff put away. Let's prep our fruit and veg for the week and throw together that crock pot cherry pie oatmeal. Shooting me with words, but I will let them bruise. Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you. you're wondering what I'm gonna throw myself together for dinner tonight it all comes from frozen bags I will say it could be worse coming from the freezer I have a package of frozen brown rice um, this is a steamer bag from Trader Joe's I just have to pop that in the microwave for about three minutes and then this is one of my favorite frozen vegetable mixes I get it from Costco it's the Pura Vida fire roasted vegetable melange it has 
Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, red and yellow bell peppers, onions. It has like a light olive oil dressing to it. So this does have, I think like one point per serving on the WW plan, if that's something you follow. And then you guys know, I love my bear lightly breaded chicken breast chunks. I get those from Costco as well. They didn't have them for a really long time. And then they came back and hello inflation. They went from being like, oh, the hubby's calling, hang on. All right, not too bad, 9.30 almost, and Josh is on his way home from work, so I'll see him in about an hour. So I may as well make some of this for him too, because I'm sure he'll be hungry after his long day. Anyway, I was saying, um, these Just Bear Nuggets, they carry at Costco, but thank you, inflation. They went from being, I wanna say, originally they were around like $14 for this same like 64 ounce package. Uh, yeah, these were like $20 for the one package of chicken nuggets the last time I bought them. They are a large, like, you know, I mean, four pounds of nuggets is a lot of nuggets, but 20 bucks still seemed like a lot for what these are. I will say in the air fryer, they taste just like Chick-fil-A. So I guess if you're comparing the price of that many Chick-fil-A nuggets to these, success, but I don't know. We still got them because we love them, so I don't know. Let me know, do you guys have any recommendations for like good quality chicken nuggets? Um, leave them in the comments down below. We love these. Lila is always a sucker for like dinosaur shaped nuggets. I've gotten like the Simply Purdue ones for her before. Um, but I'm always looking for something like this because yes, chicken nuggets, I feel like they seem like kid food, but these are so easy to pop in the air fryer to add a bit of protein to like, like I'm gonna do a rice and vegetable and chicken bowl or we'll coat them in some buffalo sauce and use them on nachos or I'm gonna make up some extras of these. I was talking to Josh on the phone. I told him I'd make them some extra to put in the fridge so they're cooked. And then he's gonna make himself one of the chicken Caesar wraps to bring with to work tomorrow. So they're just like pretty versatile. And whether you're a grown adult or a kid, they work into quick, easy meals for the family. So if you guys have other recommendations, let me know if you have any affordable, healthy, good alternatives in the comments. So anyway, these and these are going in the air fryer. That's popping in the microwave. I'll toss them all together. Probably just use a little bit of seasoning, maybe some of the Kinder's buttery steakhouse seasoning on it. That would be good. And yeah, that's gonna be a quick little chicken bowl for dinner. A little while later, Josh got home, had something to eat, and then brought Nora upstairs for the night. I was able to give the kitchen a quick cleanup. And before heading up for bed myself, I threw together this really easy overnight crock pot cherry pie oatmeal. It came together in about five minutes. We'll cook on low heat in the crock pot for about eight hours and then I get to wake up to a delicious breakfast ready to go. I will go ahead and link the full recipe in the description box below. And I did add in some flaxseed meal and brewer's yeast, which are just ingredients that help support lactation.
Okay guys, tired mama life over here. Well, our oatmeal came out. Uh, well, I thought I was gonna remember at like Nora's 6 a.m. wake up for feeding to come downstairs and turn my crock pot from low to warm and I forgot. So mine got a little bit toasty in my crock pot, but I just topped it off with some milk to add some more moisture back in, and it tastes great. It got a little bit toasted, which really brought out the almond flavor and just a little bit of sweetness from those cherries. It's not overly sweet by any means. Overnight oats or overnight crock pot oatmeal is such a great way to have a hearty, healthy start to your morning. So anyway, I am gonna go eat up my oatmeal and get my girls going for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed today's grocery haul, meal prep, cook with me. Subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video. And until next time, bye.